Time for the list. Larry, what have you got? Well, I know you have this thing about using biological terms yeah. for body parts, yeah. uh, private parts. And, whoa, whoa. And kinda, so yeah, Larry's mixing it kinda, up Kind of getting bit. out of your lane here, Larry. Well, <laughs> no, no, I no thought offense. I'd help Robin with some uh, historic euphemisms okay. for sex and I private parts. Was, all right. I'll Do we start. need to tell the kids to get out of the room at all? Or no, this is something that they can use. It'll start okay. with the men. Here's the first one. All right. Like, for example, the silent flute. <laughs> Uh, that was one that was used. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. Uh, these are historical. I'm it's not making these yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I had some explanation here, but I don't know if they made it I into the script. The one. staff of yeah. life. You're gonna loan me uh, a few of these for my baseball highlights, Larry. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And another one is uh, whirly gigs. This was a term used by Shakespeare, but not for body parts. But uh, someone obviously liked the word. Hmm. It's actually the name of uh, like these pinwheel things that blow in the wind. But whirly gigs. Well, whirly -gigs. depends on the guy. But yeah. 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 Right. Uh, so for the women, uh, Cupid's cloister. <laughs> oh, um, another Larry. one for the ladies. They used yeah. to refer to it as the the kitchen. Sure. Oh. Yeah. According to Jonathan Green, a dictionary maker, the term kitchen was first used to refer to the female body part in 1685. Wow. Because yeah. that's where things get she cooked. Can bring home yeah. the bacon and fry it in the. I pan. thought that's you like you wanted these words. You I don't, don't like want to use the Larry. Some I don't preheating want any involved. Yeah. About I'm this I'm 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 Keep going, right? Larry. Oh. All right. Well, here's another one for the <laughs> Petticoat Lane. Stop it. Just stop it. Uh, Why are you rushing for these? According to Mental Floss, if you are looking for a way to describe your nether region, softly yeah. yet delicately, in 1790, uh, Petticoat Lane uh, was the way to go. Uh, right. Now, go with Petticoat Junction, huh? Yeah. yeah. You would have thought these that last might be ones a little are, more fitting, right, Mike? These yeah. are the last ones are for, you know, the sexual act. Make the beast with two backs. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. I know, it's like, where are you going? Well, I'm I trying to help like you. Them. I don't like this. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, in the 14th it's century, science. they'd say, give someone a grass gown. And what that kind of referred I, to, yeah, it was uh, they were doing the old vodio do yeah. in, the, in a field somewhere. Oh. Giving her a grass gown. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that's... <laughs> And the last historic uh, euphemism for sex in private parts, wind somebody's little ball of yarn. <laughs> Oh my and did you know there's a song from 1800 Scotland? Oh. Let's take a listen. All right. Down by my grandfather's farm, I met a pretty maid, and this is what I said. This is great. May I wind up your little ball mm. of yarn? Well, the Scots are very saucy, I huh? I took this pretty maid and Is that me singing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the third verse. So, uh, that was great. Aww. If you want to do more research on this, so don't I be don't careful what you're her Googling. Her but those great. are euphemisms you can use to kind of keep things yeah. polite-like. That was really fun, Larry. I learned a lot. That was good, Larry. I thought maybe a thank you, Robin, or this something. I'm... I think those were worse than the actual terms. <laughs> <laughs> you might have you might have gotten me back to the clinical descriptions, right. Larry. Go That's ahead and use one. Let me hear no, one no, in a no, sentence. No, 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 I don't want to. What you, come on, this is too, you don't need to be having talks like that, Larry. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Lighten up. You like more subversive terms? Yeah. No, like I the mean, no pants dance? Is that more up your alley? I went to Catholic school. We don't even say, we don't even act like that even happens or there's oh, any yeah. terms oh, yeah. for anything. Yeah, you that's just don't real healthy. discuss. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see, see what I'm I, fine. Let's see what Anna does with